But like I said, yeah, they, it feel it may seem a little more forgiving in the early and but they have and they've uh, opened up a few new new things, but there is still plenty of things you need to be careful of. Um, sir. Ah, a tarnished diet. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Is Heed my warning. Eh. The village here has been touched by death. And worse yet, it is home to a mariner. If you value your life, then go no further. The village here has been touched by death. Turn back while you still can. Is that part of his... That headpiece. It's like a part of his armor. Is this dude the new Lautrec? Yeah, if you're looking... Well, it depends more on your playstyle. You can go for an aggressive... Uh, there's still plenty of weapons and uh, builds that can go for an aggressive playstyle. I'll tend to be a bit more patient since this time I'm relying on a pole arm as primary weapon with a scimitar as backup, but that might change now, later down the line. Aggressive playstyles are still a possibility. It still holds on to a bit more of the Dark Souls 3 uh, combat rather than uh, Dark Souls 1 and 2, but uh, patient uh, is still an option if you're interested as well, but... Like, I understand that some people are still skeptical. Uh, I still had some reservations myself, purely because I was afraid that it was going to be buggy, full of glitches. But up to this point, the worst I've had is some frame rate drops some uh, once in a while. But outside of that, the game has been running quite smoothly, actually. No, big, no uh, bugs or glitches or anything of that sort. Yeah, like I said, there is still options for a more defensive playstyle, but also more offense if you're interested in that as well. That thing looks creepy. Oh, it's a dude in a boat. Oh, okay. This guy is a boss. He's a tough nut. Oh. Oh no. He's like Nito. Yeah, he's, uh, he damages his own ads. He's, he reminds me a bit of Nito on that front. Just gotta stay here. At least... go. It's not as dangerous as Nito, but... Yeah, I remember this. Son of a... There we go.
death fruit. Thank you. Well, it wasn't too difficult this one. Beast clergyman seeks and devours these. The source that gives them a rise to those who live in death. The beast clergyman found that bestial sanctum in the in the distant east collects and devours these roots. On the night of the die, near plot, the stolen rune of death enables enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread it across the land it's between through through the underground roots of the great tree, uh, sprouting in the f form of death root. Okay. Oh boy, let's hope this one isn't booby traps. No, it is not! Green turtle talisman. Ah, that will explain the turtles. <laughs> so what does it do? Raises stamina recovery rate. Oh, hell yes! Speaking of, that's actually something I've just noticed. There are no rings. I was wondering that I was missing something out there in the inventory. How did I not notice this before? There are no rings. I'm just gonna kill one of the turtles to see what's going to happen. Yeah. I know, I know, this is animal cruelty, but... I was just curious to see what they do. I'll let the, the other three live so they can re uh, repopulate. Oh no. That means an invasion by an NPC most likely. Yep. Oh no! I need to be careful here. Oh no! Oh, oh I still have one should have used it then I could have taken that ballsy move on there we go sacred scorpion charm not familiar with that one either Raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. Okay. This place is smoldering, by the way. Two essential items Missionary's Cookbook, Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook. A lot of cookbooks. That thing is moving. What is that? Oh, that thing is moving! What is it? Crap. Oh, no. What is this stuff? Scarlet Rot. That's new. Okay, that stuff is nasty. Okay, I at least know now. Oh, okay. Ah, 
Oh, fuck, I love her. Wow! Okay, I wasn't sure what he was gonna do there. <laughs> the Bird Church of Marika. Or Marika. And once again, finding stuff. Sacred Tear. <gasps> I've heard about those. Flask of Wondrous Physic. You can find Crystal Tears at the base uh, bases of Minor Earth Tree is, and elsewhere throughout the lands between. At Sites of Grace, you can mix two Crystal Tears in the Flask of Wondrous Physic. This will allow you to create elixirs with various custom effects. Really now? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this isn't even all of it. This is only saying the region of Limgrave. I remember that from the demo. That means there's probably a lot more stuff to be found. Because I remember the map that they showed was way bigger than this. I'm not complaining, but Jesus Christ, they're giving me a lot of stuff to work with. Okay, uh, let's first see... Not enough of those. Nice. So finally now I have... Ooh, nice! We can talk to Melina f uh, again for a bit. Heyo! Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika. So it was Marika. Who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Sure. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. It kind of did. May the wind guide me. Um, okay. This is something I haven't experienced before, so this should be interesting. Grail's Dragon Barrel. Oh, shit. Push! Come on, you bastard! Get the damn door open! The bestial sanctum. Oh yeah, this place gives off a very calm vibe. Yeah, it's taking a screenshot. Hello, good sir. How are you doing today? Let's first talk to him. Guess he's not really a chatty type. Hey, go, sir. I think this is what you wanted. Your vegetables for today. I smell it. Death. Feeding me. <laughs> He's gonna be. If he becomes a boss.
So they're mixing. Claw mark seal. Beast eye. He was twitching. That was creepy. Right. More stuff. Claw marked stone eye received from Grank Beast Clergyman. It is said to uh, tremble when near death fruit. The murky violet iris writhes as if alive. I am not sated. Feed me more death. Right. Not at all ominous, you know? Clawmark seal. Sacred seal granted by Garank, the beast, the beast clergyman. A rare trinket which allows incantations to be scaled with strength. The claw rep uh, mark represents Garank's wrath. Enhances bestial incantations learned from Garank. You need faith for that shit. I don't do faith. Now, as much as that's... Well, I'll leave it like that for now. But I might change that at some point. Now... I'm way off where I was before. Suddenly the map has gotten a lot bigger. Oh god, what the hell have I just ended up in? Well, uh, this place just got a lot more bigger. I thought this was just a small area. Could have fooled me. Still not showing anything. Light flame. What does that do? Wait, was that light? Oh no. Don't tell me I actually have to light every last one of them. What's with the zippy zappies over there? I have to take care of this thing though. Yo, crabby boy. Take this. these guys are tough or not guess I'm about to find out okay it's not that bad okay I'm... ah shit I wasn't expecting that he would follow up his grab with another attack surprise motherfucker oh god ow Got overconfident. Yep, they do something. Oh my god, what the hell? <gasps> oh dear god, what have I? What have 
I got myself into. God. Would you look at that? That is awesome looking! Look at that! It's like you're looking at... Like a fragment of Mount Olympus or something! Another screenshot to add to the collection. Wow. Somebody has been, apparently. One of those merchants. Ooh, oh, a customer. Sweet, you got something on you. I knew it! There's no way in hell I can make that. Let me just first grab this. Okay, I immediately need to go after him. Maybe I can make it then. That's the best chance I've got. Run! Nope! Looks like I'll try to take a right, or just run to the left. <laughs> take a right. Oh no. Yes, it's boss time. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Okay, this is some dark, this is some Bloodborne shit going on here. The fuck is this thing? Yeah, this doesn't work with... I'm not even sure what to make out of this. This is fucking nightmare shit right here! Ow. Oh no, not breath. Oh, thank God for that shield. Could you stand still? This thing is a way more maneuverable than... Should have blocked. This thing is nightmares. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, okay. That's phase two. Okay, yeah, that's what I need to do when Jesus, what is this thing? It's 
like, uh, feels like something that was rejected from Bloodborne. Yes! There we go. Jesus, this... How do you fight something... How do you fight something in some uh, in something uh, of this size in such a small arena like this? Damn it! It won't stand still. Shit! That was a little too close. Jesus Christ! No, I am not dying to greed. No! I saw that move. There we go! Nice. Banished Knight Oleg. Whew. That was close. I think I found what I was looking for. Yo! Oh! Oh my God! I knew it was bigger than it seemed. Holy... I knew it... I knew it was way bigger than it let... than they let you to believe. Jesus. My god, what in the actual... What have I gotten myself into? Now what? How is this poor bastard even hanging on like this? That shouldn't be physically possible! I mean, take a look at this! This dude should already be sleeping with the fishes! How are you doing this? Most of your body weight is already hanging over the ledge! For crying out loud! I'm getting the feeling like willpower alone is keeping this bastard from falling down there. <laughs>